Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 40th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on how we can pass values from one script in PHP to another script. And uh, this is actually the essence of web scripting, you know. Uh, this is how we make dynamic websites and uh, this is something that you would be required to do quite a lot uh, as a web developer. And uh, we see this, you know, everywhere. Like, you know, even when you're making a Google search, you see you know your keywords whatever you've typed in in the search box uh, being transferred to the server within the query string and uh, you know if you sign up for a website or you know even if you try to log in you know your values whatever values you provide in form fields are actually sent to the server then form validation happens and then you get you know something back as a response so we're going to check out three methods of passing values uh, from one file to another. And uh, the first method that we're going to check out is, you know, how we can pass in values within the query string. And uh, the second method is going to be how we can use forms. And the third one is going to be how we can use cookies, right? And uh, we're going to like, you know, have about five or six tutorials on these three topics alone. And uh, this is really important, as I said. So let's not waste time. I've got uh, two files opened up in my text editor. The first one's called source.php and the second one is destination.php and you know these are really short script files. I've tried to keep uh, you know them as simple as possible and uh, what we're going to do is or what we are trying to do is we're trying to pass in three values, you know, uh, information about a person called John. So John is the name of the guy and uh, his age is 22 and his email address is john at gmail.com. So we want to you know pass in these three values from the source file to the destination file or you know some place in the server and uh, we are going to collect these values in a super global called get so you know this you can think of uh, like an array associative array and uh, you know as soon as you pass in values within the query string and this is something we're going to check out in just a minute uh, you know these values get collected in this array called dollar underscore get or the get super global and uh, you know its indices are actually the names of uh, you know the variables that you've passed to it right so if suppose you've passed a name age and email these are going to be the keys for this array and using these keys you can get in the values and you can you know do whatever you want to do with those values so let's first check out what we've done in the source file so I have created these three variables, you know, name gets the value John, age gets the value 22, email gets the value John at gmail.com. And then I have created a string variable called str and uh, it has the following text. So I first have the text name equals and this has to match, you know, whatever uh, word I have here, whatever text I have here has to match, you know, whatever key I use for my get array. So over here I'm using name. So that's why this exactly has to be name. And then I have the, you know, equal to symbol or the assigned operator. And then I have, uh, you know, passed in the value that's contained in the variable name, right? So this doesn't have to be necessarily the same as this, but you know, whatever uh, text I'm using here, as I said, has to match the key that I've used in the uh, get super global. And similarly, I have, uh, you know, typed in the text age, and uh, then I have passed to it uh, the value that's contained in the variable age and then email and then I've used the equal to symbol and then the text that's there in the variable email. One thing that you must have noticed is that between these, uh, you know, text fields, I actually have an ampersand operator and this is how you separate values. So if you're sending multiple values, then you have to separate them using the ampersand symbol. And uh, then uh, you know, I have the closing PHP tag in the file on line number 11 or line number 12. I have an anchor tag. So we are actually going to display a link on the screen and only when the user clicks on the link, these values are going to be transferred and where are they going to be transferred? They're going to be transferred to the file destination.php. So the href attribute gets the value destination.php. And then I have a question mark and I have again, you know, started another PHP set. So I have the opening PHP tag here, and then I've used the echo statement to output the contents of the string variable ST str. So this is going to be my query string, and uh, this will be outputted here immediately after the question mark. And uh, then I've closed the PHP tag and I have the, you know, double quotation mark for closing this string. And uh, then 
I have the text destination. So this is all that's uh, going to be seen on the output screen when we execute the script file and I've closed the anchor tag, right? So let me show you guys the output of this file before we proceed further. So instead of default.php, I'm going to look for source.php. When I press the enter key, this is all that I see, right? So it's a link because when I hover over it, we can see that, you know, the pointer is changing. And uh, if I click on it, the values will be passed. And uh, let me actually show you guys the output of the destination page as well. So here we go. We see name is John, age is 22, email is john at gmail.com. So these values have been passed and you can be sure that I haven't uh, redefined these variables here. You know, I haven't uh, typed in these values. These values have actually been transferred. So, you know, when I use the key name with the get super global, you know, the value John was fetched and it was uh, put in another variable called name uh, in this file. And this variable name is, you know, even though it has the same name as this variable name, but then since these two variables are in different files, you know, this one's actually got nothing to do with the variable in the source file. And similarly for age and email, we've obtained the values by using age as the key here and email as the key here. And then on line number 10, I have an echo statement to see the value in the variable name. On line number 11, I have an echo statement to see the value in the variable age. And on line number 12, I have uh, uh, an echo statement to see the value in the variable email, right? So that's all that's happening in this script file. And uh, this is a very popular method of uh, passing in values, but then it's not a secure method because, you know, as you can see here in uh, the browser that uh, in the URL bar here, you can actually see the values that have been passed, right? So name is John, age is 22, and email is john at gmail.com. So, you know, if you were passing uh, keywords that a person has searched for, you know, like Google does, that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But then if you're, you know, obtaining passwords from people or information that people would not want people who are sitting, you know, around them to see, then you would probably not want to use this method. You know, you would want to encrypt the values in some way, or you would want to use, uh, you know, uh, forms if you are uh, getting some something, you know, that could be uh, confidential. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll continue our discussion on uh, this topic. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.